It all starts with Princess Kitty and the Crystal Palace, a storytelling on a wall in a restaurant in Chelmsford. And here is the year 2013, and here the story begins. But hang on a minute, let's go back to 17th century in China. Princess Kitty leaves her magnificent pagoda on the Paradise Island. Sheltered from the sun by her parasol, she crosses the wide yellow river on a magical dragon boat. With Ping, her bird of paradise, she sails away to meet the Imperial musicians. Imperial musicians help Kitty to gain entry to the Crystal Palace, where she sings for Emperor Sam. But who is that mysterious standard bearer? And what mischief does Pom Pom, the temple dog, get up to? But now, let's meet Kenny, the manager of the Crystal Palace restaurant in Chelmsford. Uh, Kenny's the project manager. Kenny, how long has this restaurant been open now? Uh, at the moment, it's been open about four weeks now. Uh, we're based on Broomfield Road, on Railway Street, and we're just behind the ship and also we need a train station. Uh, the restaurant opens seven days a week, from five to eleven, but we've got our alcohol license to about three in the morning. Uh, we also got a takeaway delivery service. Uh, we specialise in pies and we have weddings, birthdays and anniversary functions. So uh, this function room holds about 40 people and we've got a machine with variety of songs up to 10,000 songs. Thanks Kenny. Now let's just take a quick look at the main seating area. Like to sign up for free download day notifications for the children's book Princess Kitty and the Crystal Palace in English and Mandarin parallel text by Paula Panama, please visit the Facebook page Chinese Stories for Children. That's Chinese Stories for Children on Facebook.